I'm back! Get ready to experience Aquashella through the eyes of a massive introvert who's trying to stay semi-anonymous. So, how did I do? Hi, I'm a gamer's wife, and if you're new to the channel, I like to wear sunglasses and not say my real name because of news reports about YouTubers being stalked, swatted, or worse. But everyone online's been hyping up Aquashella, a fish convention geared at hobbyists, so I really wanted to attend. I feel like if I didn't get over my fears, I'd be missing out on being a part of the greater FishTube community. So Dallas, Texas, here I come. All right, I am finally at Aquashella. I got here right at, well, like 1040. So by the time I got to the end of the line, it was 11. It's about uh, 11.35 now, and I haven't even made it to the door, but the end is near. I can see the octopus. My goal here today is to finally check in, walk the whole hall and see the fish two people. Definitely want to see uh, some of the presentations and demos as well as get swag, buy stuff, and most of all, meet people. So wish me luck. Even with pre-purchase tickets, I had to wait outside in the cold for over 45 minutes. And unfortunately, I heard that the fire marshal made them stop selling tickets halfway through the day. So definitely buy them in advance if you want to get in. There were tons of booths with big name companies like Kessel Lighting and Dinner Lay Plants. Lots of local and not so local fish and exotic pet stores. Like Nature Box Pet Emporium is out of state from my corner of the world. Gosh, look at that terrarium. I should check them out sometime. Ooh, Ben's Betta Fish is also from Colorado. So gorgeous. Dang, look at this Crown Tail Candy Betta. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. Like most of the conference attendees, I also stood in line to see Aquarium Co-op and get a free bottle of Easy Green Fertilizer. Thank you! I was kind of nervous because I didn't really have anything to ask Corey, just wanted to shake the man's hand because he's really influenced my personal fish keeping and inspired me to start my own channel. Oh, and I saw some other famous faces hanging out in the booth too. Of course, they had many coral frag shops, which is why the event gave you orange sunglasses so that you could see their natural coloration. Ooh, magic. And finally, lots of fantastic artwork on display and for sale. I wouldn't say that that many companies were giving away free swag, at least when I went on Saturday, but I did manage to snag a sample of Ocean Nutrition Shrimp Wafers, which I'd never seen before, so thank you to them. I also bought some Shrimp King mineral food there, which I could have ordered on Amazon, but it's just so much more fun to buy it at a convention like this and support the sellers who came. Now, I chose to go to Aquashella by myself this year since, you know, I figured it wouldn't be that fun for my young children, but there was actually a huge kids station with games and a mermaid photo booth, which I really appreciate as a mom. And Dustin's Fish Tanks even held a kids-only aquascaping contest, which I think my son would have really enjoyed participating in, so maybe I'll bring my family next time. What else? There was a shrimp contest and a flower horn contest going on. I had thought about entering the shrimp competition, but at that time my colony was really young and I wasn't ready to give them five of my shrimp for free. However, there weren't that many entries at this event, so maybe next time I'll give it a shot. The final type of contest was the freshwater and saltwater scape-offs. I missed the one between Joey Mullen, the king of DIY, and George Farmer, but I did get to see the saltwater scape-off between Ray and Evie, which only lasted 15 minutes long. And I'm happy to say congratulations to Ray's Aquaria. Side note, love that ocean-themed dress she wore. So cute! Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, besides the competitions, I wanted to sit in on the talks and demos to learn from industry experts. They had several aquascaping demos that I stopped by, including one by Aquarium Design Group, which I visited in Houston, linked above and in the description. I only caught the tail end of Lucas Brett's talk on keeping natural aquariums, but I did sit through Chris Lukup's entire session on the secrets of shrimp keeping. It was a really unique presentation because he was constantly engaging with and even trolling the audience at times. Also, I loved how he showed the actual habitats where ornamental shrimp come from, which I'd never seen before. Shrimp knowledge leveled up. 
By 4 p.m., I was super tired and famished from skipping lunch, so I sat on the cold hard cement and ate some snacks while watching Joey Mullen's keynote on his journey as a fish keeper. Very enjoyable to see him in person, even if I was a million miles away from the stage. Finally, my last stop of the day was the fish tube booth. I was kind of nervous about going there because I wasn't sure if anybody would recognize me and be like, what are you doing here? You don't belong here. <laughs> or how I was going to introduce myself. But people were super cool about it. I just wore my Aquashella orange sunglasses the whole time, greeted people with a, hi, I'm a gamer's wife, and the conversation just flowed. In fact, I had a great discussion with Jason from Primetime Aquatics on how he used to be nervous about sharing his full name and showing his family on YouTube as well. Another thing that was surprising is that I actually met some fans on my trip. Ah! All of them were like, uh, are you a gamer's wife? Since they'd never seen my face before, but it was so awesome to connect with everyone. I even gave out my first signature, which was so surreal. That was probably my favorite part of Aquashella, meeting all of these fellow fish lovers in person and going out to dinner with them afterwards. If I hadn't gone out of my comfort zone, flown out of state, and gone to the convention by myself without knowing anyone, I wouldn't have known that Joseph from JH Aquatics wants to go dumpster diving at PetSmart because they don't have them in his corner of the Caribbean, or that Priscilla MK works at a fish store in my state, which is so crazy to me. As an introvert, I love getting to know the little details that make up a person, not just the public persona you see on camera. So if going to conventions is the best way to get to know my fellow fish tubers, then I guess I should start saving for another convention in 2020. If you want to see more footage of Aquashella, check out the video over here or join me on Patreon for behind the scenes bonus videos. Shout out to Carrie Pitt for becoming a recent Patreon. Thank you. Take time to enjoy your aquariums and I'll see you in the next video.